So uh, there is a huge link between diving and tourism because diving it's seeing new, uh, tourism it's seeing new places and diving we're also seeing new uh, places but underwater. So as you know we are the, like uh, we have we have the biggest coast of the Red Sea here in Saudi Arabia. So I think it's a huge opportunity for people to come and discover this beauty and it's an untouched like we don't have a tourism just the fishermen the local people go diving but we don't have this big industry of tourism in Saudi so there is a lot of virgin reefs here so we have a lot of places to go diving We have here a huge area to discover. There's a lot of different beautiful dive sites and a lot of wrecks undiscovered and a lot of new dive sites undiscovered. Uh, we have a big space here. I think thousands of kilometers with the coral reef around the coast. So I am expecting for uh, next years, like next 10 years will be not enough to discover everywhere, ev everywhere even. So, good luck for this country. Really, they have a very good uh, uh, places to, to use it with the tourists when they came here. Uh, I think picture talk <laughs> is it amazing like piece of paradise here uh, Red Sea is totally different than anywhere else uh, water very clear even if you are a beginner and you do very shallow dive you will enjoy as well so you don't need to do a lot of dives you don't need to be very experienced diver to enjoy We were talking with, with tour operator and investors to, to, to ready themselves for this coming traffic that we are expecting. And some of them are already, you know, have facilities and they want to expand on it. And some of them are a new investor and they would like to invest in you. And the government also through the sovereign fund, the PIF, also trying to invest in and make a project uh, on the Red Sea to become, you know, tourist destination as well as other economic, you know, uh, activities and sectors. The, tar the target audience is the target uh, tourist that we are targeting as people interested in culture, nature, hiking, diving. And uh, this, uh, these are the, the target audience that we are targeting for year one, two, and three. We are not targeting mass tourism. And of course, Saudi Arabia is, is a Muslim country that hosts the two holiest sites in Islam. And these facts are, needs to, respect, to be respected whenever they, they travel around and, and, and you know, enjoy themselves and engage with people. So I think there is going to be a huge demand because everybody is hearing about Saudi Arabia. It's a strict country. Where people just come here for Umrah and Hajj. But now we're open to the international tourism where, where it's going to bring a lot of people and we have a, a, a potential tourism for the adventurous people. We have cave, diving, uh, mountains.
So I think I'm, I'm, I'm so optimistic regarding this. Yeah.